So I'm in a battle against the Numidian, and against the Numidian, sorry. And unfortunately, my general's in a cruddy horse archer unit. So I have to keep that horse archer unit back. But thankfully, the game director basically gave me the hill, giant hill for me to hill camp. Very yummy to look at. So what I'm going to do is position my infantry and my horse hunter general on this hill along with two units of Egyptian chariots while on the very left I'm going to send f the remaining units of my horse hunters to move on the flank and they'll be supported by an Egyptian chariot unit. Let's start the battle and see. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The only, <laughs> apparently uh, only uh, this one median javelin and went ahead and attacked me in other words they're gonna take a long time to reinforce that one javelin man unit and unfortunately for that javelin man he look it looks very very toasty very yummy little target for my Egyptian chariots to come in plunging into it those guys are not gonna live very long well, I'm gonna send my horse searchers up to harass these enemies in the meantime, let's watch this Numidian Javelin Men die. Now, it says in the game that these Javelin Men and Skirmishers do well against chariots, but that's not true because if you if uh, any good player uses these chariots, they're not just gonna they're not gonna sit still and allow your Javelin Men to go ahead and, and throw javelins at your chariots. They're just gonna do what I did there. I'm not going to send more of my general unit to kill that thing. Send my Egyptian chair unit up. And we'll see. Let's look at the enemy. Looks like they have um, one general's bodyguard, a few units of these cruddy Numidian javelin men, some desert infantry, just cruddy, cruddy stuff that typical of Numidia. Because uh, Numidia doesn't have too good infantry or, or units altogether. The only unit that's worth bring that's the best. I think it's the Numidian Cavalry. The long shields and the desert, what is the, the camels for Numidia, okay, but they're not against other factions and they won't do as well. This Numidian Cav unit's gonna get killed badly with like tons of arrows. My general unit is taking a long time to kill that. <laughs> Median javelin men. Look at these guys in the back. They're like, let's go. I think they're charging in the wrong direction. Okay, I might as well retreat my general so he doesn't die. Because you meeting cav, it's it's just sitting here. This is just plain skirmishing. I'm tempted to send my Egyptian chariot out to kill these guys, but I don't want my guys to get hurt. Oh, I don't want to lose hit points for my Egyptian chariots. I can just put these guys in skirmish and I sit here for like 20 minutes. And my guys will not die. Because look, the AI is so dumb right now, just standing there, doing, running around doing god knows what. Look at this Egyptian... <laughs> Egyptian... I mean, Numidian Cav unit, it's just so heavily depleted. If I had one heavy cav, I could destroy all these troops. You know what, I'll just send my chariot, Egyptian chariots there. The problem with the Egyptian chariots is that once they lose hit points, they become basically useless. That's why, um, Heavy Cav is better against Phalanx troops, so to speak, because because the, the Heavy Cav have defense; they don't have health, which is better than uh, having nothing. Like uh, the D chariots, the chariots have um, health, and once they run out of health, they're, they're basically useless. It's very easy to easy for these Egyptian chariots to run out of health. Just hit them multiple times with arrows, and they go bye bye but with a heavy cab it becomes more difficult to kill them <sighs> infuriatingly 
taking off this mill. You mean a calf will die? Now, well. Looks like uh, these troops are running at me quite blindlessly. Look at this Numidian javelin, man. It's not gonna last. Some desert infantry. Huh. Um, so, with when you're using chariots, you're gonna have to smash into the enemy, then quickly smash into another enemy. <laughs> Look at that, it's a pathetic Numidian javelin, man. Look, I smash into that desert infantry, I quickly move on to the next enemy, like over there. I don't want to get to prolonged melee, but you saw that one of my Egyptian chariots routed on contact. Uh, yeah, I lost a lot of chariots there. Look at this general, he's like, <laughs> what was he doing? Just running around. Oh, I'll just send my chariots in. So I'll just stop firing. And just pass through it. So that enemy general is dead, I'll just move on, and basically at this point, all these troops will rout. You see there. Also, chariots have a little morale effect, so they can rout easily. They can rout units very quickly. Like that. No time to run down all these enemies. So was my general's unit. Chariots can easily route units but they can't kill units easily I mean they can't chase down routing units as quickly all they do is basically disrupt the enemy which is good in, good in of itself because that allows your other units to take advantage of the disruption anyhow let's see <laughs> We lost only about 25 men. I'm sure we lost more because of friendly friendly fire. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, my Egyptian chariots actually inflicted quite a bit of quite a few casualties. Hmm. Ooh, so apparently we got Saiwa because um, that was basically Numidians that attacked me. The the, 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 the Numidians in Saiwa. Let's see. I'll just occupy the settlement because it doesn't look like they have a big population. Let's see what we have here. Uh, some Scythian horse archer, the Naxman. I, I cannot win this, obviously. So I'll resolve. It's just one of those useless settlements that I don't need. Alright, Scythians, hurry up. Just take the city already. Okay, Pass with Julia. I'm moving north with, some, with the diplomat for some reason. And another guy named Solomon. Store philosophy and return reports and occupied. I'll do all the boring stuff. Ah yes. Okay, I'm done. And before I forget, I know a person of mine requested that I do some. Um, let's see. That I just unlock the fog. Uh, take over. Take out the fog of war. Let's see how everyone's doing in the whole entire world. Okay. Apparently, there's a Parthian army here. <laughs> Parthians like have absolutely nothing. Armenians are barely still alive. So I used to tell of only one settlement left. Let's look at Carthage. Huh, Carthage is um kind of split <laughs> in the middle between the Numidians and me, of course. And the Romans. It looks like the Scipii Romans mash push the Carthaginians out of Italy. And the Scipii Romans are sieging Syracuse. Let's see. Looks like Gaul has a lot of settlements. Strange. I don't know if. G oh, let's see. Uh, Gaul declare war on. No. Looks like the House of Julia and, and the Gauls are not at war. Hmm. Strange. And let's look at Spain. Spain. Again, nothing much. I mean, it hasn't changed at all. 
Spain hasn't changed at all, still that one settlement of Gaul in the middle. Spanish have four settlements all around, just isolated from each other. And of course you have the Carthaginian town of Cordoba. Let's see, it looks like the Germanians are pushing throughout in every direction. <laughs> wow. That's pretty nice. And the Brit Brit British are still stuck in Italy and you see some British armies up here waiting for like a ship to take to get them to take over Terra of course huh. look the barbarians are going just killing everyone for now in the north the barbarians seem to be gaining power I don't know about Rome Rome looks like it's not gonna last for long because of my armies I guess we should take this off for now toggle FOW if you're asking how I brought this up, uh, it's a little squiggly, squiggly line on the top left. You bring over Rome shell that, that allows you to put in some cheats or whatever. But I don't want to cheat in this one because I'm the rebels and I, I don't want to make this at least kind of difficult. Though at this point, I'm just slaughtering everyone in my path. So with Darius Victor, uh, the guy who's pretty old, he's really old right now. Um, he's going to try and take over. Bostra, but unfortunately my spies were not able to open the gates so I'm gonna take Bostra next turn let's see let's move this guy whatever his name court dad up to the top right here and let's see Pontius will be sent to attack uh, our taxathar whatever that called and apparently one of my spies opened up the gates but uh looking at the army I'm not sure if I want to fight it. Eh, might as well. Alright, I basically got my army set on the top, on, in the front rank, sorry, of the Rhodian Slingers, then the Cretan Archers. So basically, I'm going to use these four units to just rain down death upon the enemy. So immediately, my Cretan Archers are in range, my Rhodian Slingers will be moving up in close proximity to get into range of the enemy I have to be aware of these watchtowers, I don't want my guys to get hit by arrows not a lot of damage but it's I'm still killing some troops like you see there are like, like 20 men in one volley got burned uh, let's see they have uh, general units and the dreaded cataphract unit. I'm gonna have to draw this cataphract unit out if I'm able to kill in order to kill it. Obviously in a head head to head engagement my my cavalry will not win. So I'm gonna have to use my militia hoplites in order to turn the tide. Which I'll do right now. I'm gonna send some of them up. Just get into position. So I think I've softened the enemy up as much as I can, and I'm gonna be ready to storm the walls with these two units of Eastern Infantry. If you ask why only these Eastern Infantry, it's because I want these guys to take the brunt of the beating, the, the brunt of the damage. I don't want my British hoplites to get to get killed. Because these Eastern Infantry are all very expendable units, they could die and I don't really care. I thought send my uh, general up to inspire my men. Not too, it's not very necessary, but I guess some morale is better than no morale. <laughs> Might as well. There's no reason not to do it. So we see that the AI responds by sending one unit of he heavily depleted Easter infantry at me. That's a nice way to die. I'm going to stop firing, I'll charge this Eastern Infantry. It's just going to route on impact basically. Oh no, it's going to last a little while. Okay, in the meantime I'm going to set up my village hop like in basically column formation. And that Eastern Infantry routed. To no one's surprise of course. 
I'll send some of those hoplites in. Just want the front too. And it looks like the enemy general unit might be coming at me. Well, I'd rather have them come at me now rather than later. So I guess that's a good thing. Plus, my Easter infantry can probably hold them for a little while. I just want these guys to hold on my militia hoplites, get there. And that's a depleted Eastern infantry unit that came back from routing. At this point, my Eastern infantry have no chance of winning, even though they are spearmen, of course. So that's where my militia hoplites come in. Come on, guys, get into position. I'll send my other militia hoplites in. I see that my Eastern infantry are just getting totally devastated. They're not gonna last. Put these guys in fan exclamation and attack the enemy. And that's an enemy troops defeated. And it looks like I killed one of the enemy generals. And this other enemy general is gonna die. Oh. Actually, my Eastern infantry did manage to fight back. I guess because of numbers, <laughs> I just had so many of these Eastern Infantry that they were able to beat the enemy. So at this point I'm going to move my Cretan Archers up just to be able to provoke my enemy to attack me. Like um, I think I'm just going to position all my militia hoplites over here in this bottleneck. My Cretan Archers here and my Cretan Archers will fire at this cataphract unit and provoke them into attacking my um, hoplites frontally. Uh, looks like my Eastern Infantry are holding. They're getting some kills. Actually, they might, <laughs> they might win. <laughs> Man, that, that's unexpected. Probably this uh, AI sent to horse archer unit in melee, <laughs> and the enemy general just got killed. Oh, isn't that great? Some more horse searchers coming in for melee. Okay. I don't know why, but fine by me. If the, if the AI just wants to kill itself, that's fine. I think my Eastern infantry need a hard run rest. I'm gonna let them rest for now. Actually, never mind. They have Peltas to face. Looks like this Peltas unit is coming in. My, all my troops will be able to defeat them. So my, I think my generals did done enough killing for now. I'm gonna let them retreat. So Peltas versus Eastern Infantry and Militia Hoplites. I'm voting for the Militia Hoplites and the Eastern Infantry to win. Definitely. Come on, Cretans. Oh, gosh, God. Dang, dang, dang. I did not see that coming. Crud, crud, crud. My Cretan archers are basically very close to these Eastern Infantry. Come on, guys. Get out, get out, get out. I don't want these Cretans to get into melee. They're too valuable to lose. So my militia hoplite should be able to defeat these guys. Charge this eastern infantry to the flank and instantly route it. I think at this point, uh, I'm just gonna skip ahead until my guys get into position. Not much to comment on anyway. Unless you want me to rant about AI stupidity. So everyone's in position. I got these two Cretan archers and these militia hoplites ready to stab these cataphracts. Look at that horse such unit. He just moves, moves up, shoots one volley of arrows, and then runs away to the town square. Typical Armenian strategy. So, Cretans are gonna fire. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Fine. Target that cataphract. Maybe that'll help. They're targeting the wall, essentially. Come on, guys. 
Yeah, very good, very good. Will I get any cataphract kills? Oh, I killed one. Maybe two. Yeah, these cataphracts are very heavily armored, so you can't you can't really kill them too easily. With arrows at least. Well I guess you can kill these cataphracts with arrows. It's just that um, you're gonna need a lot of archers. Ooh. And you can see that even the cataphract unit against even militia hoplites, even a lot of militia hoplites, um, the cataphract unit would lose. Although this cataphract unit is holding on for a ridiculously long time. Although the cataphract unit is losing. Not much to say here, I guess this is the only cataphract unit we've seen just yet, and you're just gonna see this cataphract unit get slaughtered because of AI stupidity. They're not even using the maces. Although it wouldn't matter too much, because even cataphract with maces will not go against uh, a wall of militia hoplites. Man, yeah, they're lasting so long. Now they route. I guess that's the end of it for now. All I have to do is basically mop up the rest of the enemy units. So, <laughs> I won. I managed to kill 1,111 1, units. <laughs> that's a, a pretty odd number. Uh, yep. Not much to say there. Just easy win.